So I previously shared why I fast, do intermittent fasting, and today I wanted to tell you how I do intermittent fasting. There are lots of different ways to do it, and this is not right or better. I just find that it's the easiest way to make it through the day. Um, some people can do it with just like water and lemon water. Um, I don't know if I could do that, so this that's why I choose to do a nutritionally supported fast, mainly with Isogenics products, and then I incorporate some other products. I wanted to walk you through those. Um, the first one is Cleanse for Life. Um, the wrapper of the bottle is up. I think it's kind of looks like the bottle has its skirt hiked up. Anyway, <laughs> um, Cleanse for Life is a, a blend of botanicals and herbs that really support your body in the detoxification process. Your body knows how to do the detoxification and turn over its cells and clean out the parts that are no longer functioning, um, but this just helps your body be supported in that process. Like if you think of a car wash, um, this is just the soap that's helping the car wash do its work more effectively. Um, you can also, I also use Ionic Supreme. Um, I have talked about this previously as well. This is herbal adaptogens that help your body deal with stress. And then I have a couple little small snacks um, throughout the day. They're very low calorie. It's just to like keep your metabolism going and keep you satiated so that you don't um, stand at the fridge and ruin your day. Um, one of them are these dairy-free snacks. They're, they do come in whey as well. Um, they're just these little tablets. Um, I like to suck on them. This is berry flavored. I think they kind of taste like a sweet tart or like a Flintstone vitamin. I actually really like them. And so do our girls. They always ask if they can eat them. Um, I, I will eat a bag of these throughout the day. Um, these are Harvest Thins. These are a great snack on, on every day. This is Thai sweet chili. So they're 100 calories, um, but they have 11 grams of protein. So I just nibble those throughout the day chocolate friends don't let friends fast without chocolate um, so this is dark chocolate it comes in sea salt caramel mint dark and milk chocolate um, great to just break up and suck on throughout the day and then the last isogenics product is an e-shot so this does have caffeine which is great at like three o'clock on a cleanse day um, to just get you through that last part of the day the caffeine is from herba mate and green tea and it's about the cup about the same caffeine as a cup of coffee and then the non isogenics products that I also use I love doing kombucha on a cleanse day um, I feel like because your digestion's already empty putting those probiotics in um, to really replenish the the good bacteria in your gut is so smart oh I do also um, take my probiotic on cleanse day as well and then Sparkling water, I will even make like a kind of a cocktail of sparkling water and cleanse for life just to change it up and make it fun. I will even put it in a fun like wine glass or whatever. And then bone broth, especially when I'm cleansing in the winter, it's nice to have something warm and I will heat this up and um, drink it like a, with like a soup with a spoon um, while the family's eating dinner. And this is great because it only has 60 calories, which is the point of fasting is to keep your calories really low. Um, so your body can put energy into other things and it's got 10 grams of protein. So you're still giving your body some good nutrition for very low calories. So those are the things I use on a fasting day and I'll kind of make a schedule and it makes it go super fast and easy. And I all, my other tip for fasting days would be to do it on your busiest day of the week. People think that they want to stay home on the weekend and do it, but you don't like, this is not a poopy cleanse. You won't be pooping your pants or anything. So Go out, be busy. Um, the days where you're like, I don't know how I'm gonna have time to eat, those are the days that you should do fasting. So if you have any questions, let me know. If you use any other tools for fasting days, I would love to hear those because it's always great to learn new tips. Have a good one.